Good day from a conference center in the United States. I am Brittany Cristianto. And I am Jason Ferris of BNY News. And we welcome you to the first and final performer debate of 2016. This debate is sponsored by Christian pop rock band Bread of Stone on behalf of Christian independent artists. This debate will be freestyle. Yo, this is Beacon freestyle off the top. Woo! No Beacon, not that kind of freestyle. We want to get to as many questions as possible, so we are asking the audience to refrain from any booing or applauding. I'm looking for America. Lead vocalist Ben, lead guitarist Bill, welcome. Let's get right to it. The first topic is major labels. First of all, I want to say thank you to Brett Stone for sponsoring this event. Please stick to the question. The record labels take about 70%. Probably more like 80 to 90%. They're taking over the industry. You're wrong, bigly. I mean, that's wrong. Another big issue is the treatment of independent bands. For reference to the treatment of independent artists, I feel like we need to build a wall. I'm talking about the LED wall, of course. We gotta build content for these independent artists so that they're on the same level as everybody else. We gotta raise the standard for all independent artists. How long have you been doing this? Who's gonna pay for the wall? These people do all the talking, but no action, all this time. Going right along the lines of treatment of these independent bands, lead guitarist Bill, you had mentioned screening new bands. That's not what I said. Unlike him, he just lets anybody in. We should ask the hard questions. We don't even know who they are. Are they Christians? Because we're representing something that's huge. What is your plan to fight against core pranks? You can go to my website. I've listed everything down. Nobody wants to pay, see a show, and have tour pranks. We've got to find a way to eliminate to a prank. What? Moving on. Uh, excuse me, do I get to respond to that? When somebody decides to do a tour prank, bands have four minute response time. Why did you even post the step by step on your website? Now bands know how to prank and not to prank. That is quite enough. We would please like to ask the audience again to refrain from all booing, applauding, or wasting everybody's time. <laughs> this next question comes from Twitter. Hi, Spencer Kane here. We all know that crowds can get pretty crazy at concerts sometimes. What would you do to implement some plan of crowd control to ensure that everyone at the concert's safe, including the artists? Thank you, Spencer. That is a great question. I've always said this and I will always say this. We should let security take care of security. We should have barricades. I mean real barricades. This is the second rule of being an independent artist. Bring your own barricades. I mean, people, you never know what's going to happen at these events. That doesn't work. We've already charged the VIP, the middle section, and the nosebleed section so much money what are they gonna do bring their own barricades to a show Hold on a that second. doesn't work hey, that way I didn't interrupt you that would be chaos if we want safety for all second rule bring your own barricades people what is your views on educating young musicians I think it's easy some of us are meant to be musicians and some of us aren't Take me for an example. Good at it. My family, we're all musicians. Some things you just can't teach. That's why we can't just let anyone be a musician. Bill, not all of us are privileged like you. I did not we say that. We didn't come from a mm -hmm. musical I family. That. I want to make music education free to everyone. Free, 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 free. That's what I want. Free. If you're a musician, free ride. Free are you listening buses. to yourself? Free wall. Free LED wall. That's what I'm talking about. Freedom. What will you do to provide band aids? We need to put some sort of a regulation to help these bands so that they could have at least a decent living. This is where I don't agree with you. We should give that control back to the band. Bands should write in their own writer. If they want their m and separated, let it be separated. But don't forget, you gotta be serving. This is what it's all about. Does that even make sense? Lead vocalist Ben, your time is up. Aren't they separate their own m and Are they not capable of separating? Wrong. Your time is up. We have time for just one more question. The term frontman is used for the lead vocalist of a band. How would you define a band fronted by a female lead vocalist? You have all the time in the world you need to respond. Before you respond, just so you know, we have Skylar, Kaylin, hey Trisha, Brock so of Super Chick, here. Lauren and Bridger Hi. of Love Collide. Brooke, Tim, no, Jason. Brooke of Love Collide, all watching live on Facebook. Answer wisely. Uh, lead, lead vocalist, bed. can I call you lead vocalist? I just want you to be happy. I want you to be very happy. You can have this question. Hi. Um, no, you should, you should go. No, you should go. Let's just move on. No, the people want to know. We're running low on time. Is it because I'm a woman? <laughs> Audience, please, we ask you no, again. Just a... Can I just get a water? That wraps up the 2016 Performer Debate. I am Jason Ferris. And I am Brittany Cristianto. We are with BNY News. And we would like to send our best wishes to all the Christian independent artists. Thank you and good night.